Hi Terry, this is the schematics of the crossover for the Atec 415A Yamaha 4201 and uh, for the crossover here this is the input positions for your amp so you connect it to your amp here and then here for the woofer and there for the compression driver and in between them the first thing where your amplifier is connected to is the phase switch so this is a switch like this six positions so actually it's basically like switching between the two outermost parts and it's double pole double throw that's the type of the switch and uh, basically the output is going to be at the central legs the center pins and the input is going to the those two so imagine that those two wires lead there so that's the first two pins on the at the schematics and corresponding to the switch and uh, you connect the top left to the bottom right and the top right to the bottom left like crisscrossing them crisscross and basically when you throw the switch back or there then you are either getting the positive stays the positive or the positive is rooted to that side so you are flipping the phase so this is a switch that you can put in the crossover and then by flipping it for each of the crossovers you can flip, flip the absolute polarity for your loudspeaker and uh, this is really uh, I would say like um, mandatory for everything and you will notice that if you sound listen to music or your body listens to music and it doesn't sound right the bass doesn't sound correct and it sounds kind of like thin and ghost-like then you flip the switch on both of the crossovers and it will sound much better and it depends on the recording they are recorded either way and there's one more thing that if there are some recordings when left and right channels have flipped phase and in that case you flip the switch on one channel and then it will make it correct you will well, I will post a video on how you can uh, figure out which recordings are made like that. So right now, let's continue with uh, the crossover. So for the woofer, the low pass network is super duper easy. Basically, you hook up the negative uh, terminal of your woofer directly. There's nothing uh, in there. And the positive terminal, there's the 1.5 milli Henry choke, 1.5 mh. So it's a first order network for 850 hertz first order low pass. And the high pass network that goes to the compression driver is a bit a bit more complicated. Uh, here, there we will also have a switch that is similar as this switch, but only one unit, so like half of this. You need a switch like that and and one where it is in built in such a way that you can flip it one direction center and there's nothing is flipped and then flip the other way it engages again so it's basically a three position switch that has an on off on and uh, and then if the whole thing is off then you have only a 15 ohm resistor here in the path if you flip one way then you engage a 12 ohm resistor in series so the total resistance will be lower much lower and if you engage the top one then it will be just a slightly bit lower and with the three settings you will have for the compression driver it will be cut down either by 9 dB, 7.5 or 5 dB. That, that means that you will uh, have a total of either 99 dB, 96.5 or 95 dB for the compression driver. So basically when you are at the center position, uh, in that case then uh, this this should be level with your woofer 
and you can either level it a little bit lower it a little bit higher this will help a lot to match up with different recordings and and also match up with the room so after this uh, resistance resistor network uh, comes a 7 microfarad capacitor in series with this resistor network and uh, then between the plus and minus terminals there's a 1.8 millihenry choke so this is the high pass filter and that's 1.4 kilohertz second order network and then uh, try it out let it break in and if you feel that there is not enough uh, impact for the drums uh, so it, it's like the speed is not there or the vocals seem to have uh, an issue there then change this to a 10 microfarad which is much easier if you just get a 3 microfarad capacitor and add it in parallel to this one so 7 plus 3 that will make it 10 but try it with 7 first I cannot tell you which one to choose because it will depend on how these two drivers interact with each other and uh, just by having their uh, nominal impedances that, such as uh, 8 ohm 8 ohm it, it doesn't tell me exactly how to make them and we do not have any uh, more details to go more so this is my guts telling me 7 will work but if it's uh, uh, if it sounds a little bit thin or you have a feel that there's a gap in the lower mid-range then add three more microfarads there also you were asking about the uh, Dave Slego transformer uh, the autoformer uh, you can use it instead of these resistors here and uh, it, it's pretty easy how to use it so you wire it up that the uh, that the bottom of the coil connects to the negative here the top of the coil connects to the positive and the output of the autoformer connects to this point here to the capacitor so and, and in that case uh, then just by adjusting uh, the autoformer you can adjust the uh, highs uh, I mean the you can adjust the uh, compression driver to the woofer and then you will have tremendous freedom to do so and uh, I would recommend to go that way it will be quite a bit more expensive than the three resistors but it's well worth the trouble both uh, in uh, it giving you much more options uh, and also way better sound quality so I just wanted to make this video because I'm going to uh, send this picture to you but it's easier if you have a verbal explanation on how things go and when you build a crossover for here where it says woofer then just put like a, a binding post here the connectors and this is where you can hook up the wires coming from your woofer or the wires going to the compression driver and observe the polarities and it's not a mistake so the woofer negative terminal connects here and compression drivers positive terminal uh, connects to here and this is not a mistake in the drawing so just observe them the way they are drawn so positive negative negative positive and that's because this is a second order filter and the second order flips the phase so we have to flip the compression driver's phase to mate the mid-range to the same phase where the woofer rolls off so have fun enjoy bye bye